This is Joe Porto at Joe Porto Designs. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about using anchors on your Wix.com site um, for a little while. I should say I've been using this platform for quite a few years and in the beginning this was not an option. If you talk to any normal web developer who's been doing regular HTML and CSS for a while, you'll know that anchors are kind of a necessity um, and they're used on a lot of websites. So what would you use an anchor for? Uh, basically what an anchor is, first you want to understand that. Um, when you put an anchor point on a page, what that is doing is it's just identifying a spot on a page. Um, some of these very long scrolling websites that you see where you're scrolling a long way just like this one we talked about last time are using anchors to navigate you through them or you can just scroll through them but anchors are definitely a faster way to get down a page to a specific spot okay so that's all it is is it's marking a place on a website page and it's gonna take you there so in this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a couple of anchors here in the in this wex.com site and then we're gonna go ahead and link some buttons to them okay so the first thing is where do you find these uh, supposed anchors you're gonna go over here to the add panel just like normal like you're gonna add anything and you're going to go scroll down here to shapes, I'm sorry, buttons and menus. Buttons and menus. Click on here because it's kind of like a button in that it links to a place. And then you want to go all the way to the bottom here and click anchor. Okay, it's going to give you a little direction on telling you what exactly that is. I encourage you to maybe read that kind of slowly. Click OK. And right now you can see this uh, nice bright line that's going across the screen. This is my anchor point and this is the label of it right here. You'll notice right here it does have a little handle on the side. These little dots right here are going to let me grab it and move it around to where, wherever it is that I want to. I had a settings menu up here just a second ago and that kind of went away but you can click on this one time and it's going to bring up that settings again. Uh, one thing that you want to do is make sure you name your anchors that way you remember where was it that I put that anchor. Um, at first you don't need to name it maybe you want to figure out where you want to put it first so let's say the first anchor let's say I want to reference this next section this next picture right here so let's put that anchor there and let's call that one sort of like the section is Forest is life so I'm gonna to go to the settings panel again I'm gonna say forest is life now usually I would name it something simpler but for this example, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that you understand what I'm talking about. Um, you can copy and paste these also as a side note, or you can go ahead and do the long way, which I'm going to show you again, but you can copy and paste them. So again, buttons and menus, anchor, right? I don't want to see that anymore, but that's okay. I'm going to grab anchor two now appearing. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to grab it. Same thing. I'm going to put it right down here. And I'm going to call this one by opening the settings menu again. Settings, support, life. Again, I would use a shorter name, but for example purposes, that's what we're going to use today. Okay, so we've got two anchors, pretty simple. Now, let's say we wanted to let somebody jump down to that spot on the page. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a button, two buttons in fact. I'll add one first here. Okay. So first I've got one button right here. Let's say I'm putting it right here on the left. And let's go ahead and just change the style a little bit since that's pretty boring. And let's just use one of these buttons like that. And I know it's kind of take a second here, but maybe you want to use a theme color instead. Choose a brighter one. Hit OK. Great. And I'm going to copy and paste that with Command C and Command V or Control C, Control V. First, let's go ahead and click Link to on this button here. Now, you have a lot of options here, and one of them is Anchor. So you want to click Anchor here on the bottom. Right now, my page uh, is my home page, is where my anchor is now. And I want to select the anchor to Link to. The first one happens to be Forest is life, so that's, I'm sorry, actually, if you don't know which one it is, you might want to take a second, close out of that, look down. Okay, it's Forest is life, that's right. So we'll go ahead and link that to Forest is life, it's already set, hit OK. We're going to do the same thing for this one, link it to that other anchor, which was support life, hit OK, and we're done. 
uh, we can go ahead and test that one out. I'm going to go ahead and just publish this so you can see what that looks like. All right. And let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to refresh the old one. And here's my buttons right here. So to test this out, first I'm going to click on this first button. It's going to take me right down to that spot. Pretty sweet, right? Scroll right back up to the talk. Check this out. Boom, all the way down to the bottom. Nice and smooth, right? Pretty tricky. It's going to help your users get in there real quick. So a couple of tips on this that you're going to want to do. Number one, you're going to want to always make sure you remember to name these, right? So let's name this one really quick. Let's just call this one uh, Life. And let's call this one Support. Obviously you want to make your buttons stand out, so you might want to style them a bit more. Uh, now the, the last thing here that we want to touch on really quick is once you actually push one of these buttons and you move down the page, let's say this section right here, um, I had to scroll all the way back up to the top. Usually that's not that big of a deal, especially if you're using a trackpad that's really nice or a magic mouse on, a, on an Apple computer. Um, you can flick uh, just your finger really quick and it'll get you all the way back up to that spot on the page but let's say you, you didn't have that convenience uh, well a best practice that you should use is actually putting another button here right so you should go ahead and add another button here to make it a little easier for that user right in this case I'm gonna stick it right down here okay and what we're gonna do is name this button back to top okay so what we need to do is actually make it so that they can click a button to go back to the top of the page really quick. So in this case, let's just call it top. Okay, and I'm not going to add a link yet. All right, so it looks pretty good. So what do we need to do to get back up to the top? Well, uh, we actually need to add another anchor, believe it or not. So now that you know how to get down the page, let's put a, an anchor to get back up to the top of the page. Okay, so what we're gonna do is same thing. Go back to this menu right here. Go back to the buttons menu, add another anchor just like before. Grab anchor three right here that just appeared. And we're gonna drag it all the way to the top. Okay, now I'm not gonna get all the way to the top right this second because it's uh, blocking, it's underneath the menu right now. But that's okay, we're gonna go ahead and set it up really quick. We're gonna call it top. That's what you probably always wanna call this one for quick reference, okay? And then what I am gonna do is tuck it right up underneath there as far as I can go, okay? Now we can go ahead and go back down to this button right here and we can link it to an anchor, which is the top, okay? Click okay. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that button. And I'm going to put another one down here. And there we go. So let's go ahead and save that. Great. Let's refresh this page really quick and check it out. Okay. We can go down to the first section here. Then we can click the top button here. It's going to bring me right back up. We can go to that last section down there. Click the top button. Take us all the way back up. So there you have it. This is a quick and easy way to use maybe a single page to navigate through maybe a web page that has a ton of content that you want to stick on the same page, make it a long page, but you want to make it uh, easy for your user to get to that information or that section, okay? If you guys have any questions about this, you can email me, you can leave a comment here on this page as well, or you can reach me also at joeportodesigns.com. We'll talk to you next time.